Storm Team meteorologist Lindsay Rachel with Central New York's most accurate forecast. Good Saturday morning. I hope you're having a nice start to your day so far. Check out this beautiful picture that was submitted to our News Channel 9 Facebook page. Dave Clark took this one, the Oswego Lighthouse, of course. I love that you can see the waves crashing there and the birds flying around. And of course, that beautiful orange sky. Thank you, Dave, for sharing that view with us on our Facebook page. This is our view from Oswego now in our Driver's Village Skynet 9 camera. We do have some clouds. It's dry. We've got some sunshine, too. Our temperatures for the most part are in the 40s with some clouds, not too much of a breeze. If you want to get out and mow the lawn, today is your day. We have a perfect day for it. Dr sunshine in the morning, dry all day. We do see some clouds increasing later on today, but overall a beautiful Saturday with highs in the mid 60s. Temperatures right now, like I said, for the most part, we're in the 40s, like Skinny Atlas, Syracuse, Fulton. But take a look at Rome, stretching down towards Cortland and Ithaca, where the winds have gone on calm is where our temperatures have dropped into the 30s. So a little bit of a chilly start there. Everyone's dry though. Live Doppler 9 is quiet. We zoom out the view on the satellite and radar and you notice two features here. One, a low pressure system to the south that's bringing uh, severe weather this morning to portions of Mississippi, Alabama, the Gulf. This is what was originally set to bring us some rain for tomorrow. It is still set to move to the north and east, but it's trending off the coast a little bit farther south. So it doesn't bring us a soaking rain tomorrow. I think we get in on some scattered showers with this cold front. It'll bring some cooler weather in for Sunday and Monday as well. So take a look at your time cast, plan out your day. Today, sunshine in the morning, temperatures by lunchtime rising to near 60 degrees. We're in the 50s for Pulaski and Oswego, low 50s there, so a little bit cooler. We don't have that breeze that we've had for the past couple of days, so that should make things feel a little bit better. We see some clouds increasing this afternoon, this evening. Still still dry. Once we get to the overnight, we have those clouds thickening up. And then after midnight, this I think is worst case scenario. We have some widespread light rain moving through early tomorrow morning. But then we have dry time and then we have some scattered showers developing in the afternoon and evening. However, I think we do end our day uh, dry with even some clearing, especially for areas farther to the west. But we do have temperatures dropping all the way into the 40s by the time we get to sunset. So a little bit cooler tomorrow. Tonight's low temperatures, they're falling into the 40s. Again, some light rain to wake up to tomorrow morning. If you want to go out golfing tomorrow, I wouldn't completely rule it out, especially later in the day, say after about 3, 4 o'clock. Temperatures, though, will be a bit cooler in the 50s and falling into the 40s. Monday, we stay in the 50s, but we have a lot of sunshine. We also have a bit of a breeze coming back for Monday. Tuesday, we stay dry. Temperatures are in the low 70s. We're in the upper 70s on Wednesday with a few scattered showers. Some showers are possible for your Thursday and then we're back in the 60s where we should be for Friday.